Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another reading vlog. I'm currently reading Geek Nation by Angela Saini, How Indian Science Has Taken Over the World. It's pretty good so far. It's my kind of, uh, my, my jam, my cup of tea. Um, yeah, it's, as it says, How Indian Science Has Taken Over the World. It is her first book, I think, so it was written a good 10, 15 years ago. So some of the bits in it haven't really come to fruition, but overall, uh, as I say, been, uh, been enjoying reading it. Currently up this week, well, uh, my cleaner's coming tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to see And Then There Were None at the Wickham Swan. So a theatre production of that, which should be good. So I got that as tickets for me and Shay for uh, Christmas. Shay's actually not very well at the moment though, so hopefully she gets a little bit better. On Friday, my boiler's getting fixed. Then I'm also going to a book signing uh, to go see Joel Guion of the Brian Jones Sound Massacre. Uh, I also interviewed him for my podcast as well. They're one of my favourite bands. Very cool stuff. Uh, and then on Saturday, Park Run. I don't know where yet. We will see. So, yes. Dane Reads. Oh, bro, I'm extremely stressed. I just made the rookie mistake. Well, it's not a rookie mistake because I needed to do it, but I just made the quote unquote mistake of updating my Wi-Fi details um, and what that has meant is now nothing works. I managed to get my printer just working now and um, my Google Home. Basically I've got like four Google Homes, two Chromecasts, a bunch of smart plugs, smart lights, all of that shit all connected and when I did my research online, it said you just up update it once in the app and that will roll out the updated password across everything. That has not happened. Um, but equally, because they all think that the old password is correct, I can't actually access any of them. I can't go into them and just put in the new password. What I have to do for each and every single one of them is do a hard reset and just fucking set it up as though it's brand new again. And it's literally, there's so many devices, it's gonna take fucking hours. So I'm just really stressed about it. And I can't even go back in and change my Wi-Fi to my old password because now my fucking router won't let me into the admin panel. It's saying I changed the admin password. I didn't. And even if I had changed the admin password, obviously the old password is no longer working, but the new password that I changed the Wi-Fi to, which is the only new password I entered, also doesn't work. So the only way I can imagine that this has happened is if like Google Chrome has tried to autofill some field somewhere and it's updated it there. But even then, all of my old passwords, none of those work. Like no password I've ever had works. So I can't go back into my app, my fucking router settings. So that's it now. If I if I want to go into my router settings, I need to buy a new router. Oh Fucking hell. Anyway, I'm gonna go film some book reviews. That'll cheer me up. Yo, hello. It is um, 25 past five on Tuesday, the 27th of February. I might have to go at any minute because I'm waiting for my cleaner to come. I actually, after the kerfuffle yesterday, I've just realized that my, my because my doorbell and the chime for it are both Wi-Fi connected as well, so they weren't set up. So I've just set those up now. The cleaner said she was going to come at 5 and it's now 25 past. So I don't know if she's late or whether I just totally missed her um, coming. Oh, she said about 5.30, so there we go. I got the time completely wrong. Um, I haven't done any more reading. I went for a run earlier, only did um, 5k, but it was alright. I managed to get those kilometres in, I suppose. Um, I was going to hopefully go and see Shay today, but she's been asleep all afternoon. We are, we're on kind of like diametrically opposed sleeping patterns, I think, at the moment. So, um, also I'm skint. I actually had to get some money from my mum to be able to pay the cleaner. But yeah, when the cleaner gets here, I need to go out and get some money out to pay her. And the plan was to go and see Shay while I was out and go and see her for a couple of hours. But obviously she's asleep. So instead, I think I'm going to go and grab some food, come back here. Um, I've done most of the stuff I need to be at my computer for, so I can go and lie in bed and watch Netflix while working on my laptop. So I think I'm going to get the cleaner to clean the bedroom first, so that I can go and get in bed and just watch stuff and crack on and earn some pennies because I'm skint. So that's where I'm at. Yo, hello. It is uh, 25 past nine on Wednesday. The 20, yeah, Wednesday the 28th of February. I uh, went to the gym earlier and did some exercise bike, read some more of Geek Nation. I'm pretty much at the end of it now. Uh, got it here. Oh, shit. 
Dropped it on the floor. Uh, okay, it's all good. I've still got my page. Um, anyway, let me, oh my god, this is fucking car crash. Alright, I'm in focus and I have the book. Yes, Geek Nation. You can see how far into it I am, so I'll finish that probably tomorrow because my legs are a little sore, so I might, um, I might do the exercise bike again. I might go for a run. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We will see. It kind of depends, actually, because my new running belt and gear might arrive, which would be cool as well. If it does, but um, yeah, I've also, speaking of running, I've potentially quite foolishly signed up to run a half marathon in May. So that gives me three months to go from running about six and a half miles to running 13.1 miles. So I've got to double my distance, basically. But that's fine. I think what the plan will be, because I've been thinking about this recently anyway, I might start having Sunday being my long run day. Um, and uh, just because it's the weekend, you know. Um, but if I increase my distance, no, my time, yeah. Well, possibly my distance or my time. To be honest, I run, the speed I run at is probably about six miles an hour. So an extra 10 minutes is an extra mile. Um, but that might be the plan for each week to add an extra 10 minutes onto my run to slowly build up. Uh, let's think, yeah. Or even an extra five minutes should do it, actually. So maybe an extra five minutes. Um, that might be the plan. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should look up at half marathon training plans as well, but I'm quite stubborn. So I'll probably just blag it myself. And to be honest, if I walk part of it, that's okay. It would just be nice to run it, you know? So yeah, I did that. Shay has been asleep all day. Uh, I checked in with her when I woke up this morning and then she fell pretty much straight to sleep. Hopefully she's feeling a little bit better and is awake tomorrow evening because we're going to go and see it. And then there were none at the Wickham Swan, which would be nice. Uh, I've never seen it. Obviously, I've read it a bunch of times, but I've never seen it. And then on Friday, my boiler's getting fixed. And then I'm going to a, uh, a book launch thing with Joel Guillaume from the Brian Jonestown Massacre. And then Saturday, Park Run. Given that I'm going to uh, Wendover for the book launch, I might do Wendover Woods Park Run on Saturday. But we'll see. Yeah. All right. Hello, it is me. <laughs> it is quarter to midnight on uh, Wednesday the 22nd of May, 2024. I have no idea when I last filmed for this, but I think it was probably two, three months ago. Life has been a little bit crazy. Um, yeah, all is still good. Um, so still getting along lovely with Shay. Yeah, she's just finished a shift at work. Getting along with Shay the cat as well. She's coming out of a shell a bit more. I've been doing a lot of running. Not so much reading, I've done a bit of reading. I also have um, an exercise bike in the living room now. The living room is now actually our gym. Um, so I read on the exercise bike, but I do it at home, which is nice. Still doing park run. I went to Bristol last weekend to meet Shay's family and to meet up with a bunch of vegan runners and to do a half marathon there. So that was good. Um, I'm not going to update you on all of the books that I read because it's been a while. I also haven't been filming. I've been doing very sporadically bits and bobs, but mostly I've been super busy with work. Um, but yeah, I've been filming bits and bobs, but what I haven't done is my wrap-ups. So I have like two months of wrap-ups to catch up on. So if you want to know what I've been reading in, in the intervening things, just check the wrap-ups, because I'm not going to film two months worth of books twice. Um, but yes, we're back to vlogging. Hopefully this is going to continue to be an ongoing thing now. Cleaner's coming tomorrow. Uh, I have Park Run on Saturday. Sunday is Frogfest, so it's a free music festival in the town. And uh, also I'm going to be doing a virtual half marathon for Cats Protection, Miles for Moggies it's called. So I need to run a half marathon distance on Sunday, which would be fine because I did that last Sunday and I did it in the heat. And this Sunday I can do it when it's a little bit cooler. So yeah, that's the plan for this weekend. And then Monday is a uh, bank holiday, but uh, nothing much planned. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to love you and leave you so I can start a new vlog like fresh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.